Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Alfaro, and today I want to share a story with you from the collection of The Teacher from the Black Lagoon. So since it is National Library Week, I thought it would be a great time to share The Librarian from the Black Lagoon. So since this book has several stories in it, I have a bookmark to mark my place. And my bookmark happens to be a picture of my family. Okay, so here we go. The Librarian from the Black Lagoon. Today our class is going to the library. We've been hearing some really scary things about that place. The library is somewhere behind the boiler room. It's called Media Center of the Earth. Mrs. Beamster is the librarian the kids call her the Laminator. They say she laminates you if you talk in the library. She also has a library assistant named Igor. You know you're getting close to the library by the signs on the wall. They say no talking beyond this point. No whispering beyond this point. No breathing beyond this point. They say you're allowed to stay in the library as long as you can hold your breath. Some kids last as long as one minute. That doesn't include the time in the decontamination room. There you put on hair nets and rubber gloves. Next you have to go through the gum detector. Bzzz, empty your pocket. Once you're finally in the library, you can't actually check out books. In fact, you can't take them off the shelves. To keep the books in alphabetical order, Mrs. Beamster bolts them together. Also, they say the shelves are electrified. Zap! If you twist your neck and squint, you can read the spines. Everyone says the best part of library visit is story time. All the kids stand at attention while Mrs. Beamster reads one of the cards from the card catalog. Or if you catch her in a good mood, she'll recite the Dewey Decimal System by heart. They say Mrs. Beamster has a crush on Mr. Dewey and that she carries his picture in a lead locket around her neck. She also has rubber stamps on the soles of her shoes, and whenever she steps, it says, overdue. She seems to have ears on the back of her head. If she catches you whispering, Grr, you're laminated. They say she puts glue on all the chairs so you won't wriggle. Then she shows you slides of all her vacations since 1902. She goes to the same place every year, the Library of Congress. Mrs. Beamster also subscribes to three magazines, The Mortician's Monthly, The Complete Pamphlet of Zip Coats, and Spots Illustrated, the magazine for cleaner laundry. These you do get to read. But stay away from her plants. They are Venus flytraps. And don't pet the animals in her petting zoo, which contains a piranha and a porcupine. Don't go near her computer either. It uses a real mouse. Well, it's time to go. As we get near the library, there are lots of signs. Books are fun. Books are joy. Read. Books can take you everywhere. We march right in and sit down in little chairs. These must be the ones without glue. Mrs. Beamster comes over with an armful of books and puts them on our table. Then she smiles and hands me one. It's a book of knock-knock jokes. I'm going to love the library. The end. So the library was not what he had heard. Oh, look, there's a joke. You wanna hear the joke? Okay, here it goes. Knock, knock. Who's there? 
Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a nice place to be. Oh, that was a good joke. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you will enjoy making your own puppet theater and reenacting the story. Black Lagoon. <laughs> we want to see your puppets. Share them with us, please. Bye.